All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Hey, mom. Is everything okay? How is that? Hi, Okechi. Your father is fine. We need to talk. Okay, what's the problem? It's about the company. I know you're committed to your career as a divorce lawyer, but your father and I need you to take over the company. Mm. I thought my brother was supposed to be the one taking over the company. Your father has ruled him out. He's not ready and quite frankly, he never will be. This is your opportunity. Okay. Um... I never thought that this opportunity was ever going to come to me. Yeah, that would be amazing. Your father believes a stable personal life reflects stability in business leadership. What do I need to I do? I need you to come home with your man to prove to him you're competent instead of giving the company over to that swindler, Remy. Uh, you're right. I will find time to come. You are very right. <sighs> Wonderful. How old are you? 34. Oh, that old. Turn around. I should... Turn around. Okay. How would you like to make an extra cash? I have a job for you. Ah, okay. I want you to accompany me to see my parents in Ibadan for one month. Ah, that's all. That one is, is As this. my boyfriend. Eh? Just pretend you're my boyfriend for one month. I'll pay you five million. So, so you want to date me? I said pretend. Okay, I should act like your boyfriend for ah, eh, one month. Boyfriend, five million. Listen, five. listen, listen. I know it's a lot to process right now. Okay. Especially knowing that you have nothing doing with your life. But I'll give you time to think about it. Come back to me with a decision and be fast about it. Okay. You can go. Thank you. It's an honor to finally meet you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, tell me. Tell me about yourself. What do you do? I work in um, yes, corporate management, focusing on strategic um, growth and sustainability. Mm. Hey, no. She can't have that. Why not? Because there's too much mayonnaise in there. She has a dietary restriction and uh, due to her blood pressure, we don't want any complications. Of course. Please get her some medicine. Okay, thank you. It's good to see that uh, you are in good hands, my dear. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yeah? What are you doing? Why are you washing the dishes? Um, I'm, I'm just washing. Hey, this is my job. If anyone walks in here and I meet you, it's it my is, job it's, to wash the dishes. Uh, it's just. What on earth are you doing washing the dishes? Oh. Hey, huh? Hello. Hmm. Why is your man cleaning? That is the maid's job. Oh yes, true. Um, you know. My man is a bit of a neat freak. And that is why I love him. Baby. Yes. I think you should leave the cleaning to the professionals. Okay. Right. Let's go. Okay. What were you thinking? Going into the kitchen to do the dishes. Do you want them to know you're my houseboy? I'm sorry. It was not intentional. I, it's a habit. I'm just so used to cleaning. Huh. Used to cleaning? Do you know what would have happened if I didn't step into the kitchen when I did? I, I know I messed up. I, I promise it will not happen again. You better put yourself in check, okay? Because we can't afford anyone finding out about this charade. I understand. Respect yourself! Sorry. What are you doing here? Who are you asking that stupid question? Eh? You know exactly why I'm here, you mouth snatcher! 
I remember when I'm going to go outside and talk what? What is wrong with you, eh? Look, this whole thing was supposed to be a pretend. Anybody that tried to marry my man, eh? This is just a joke, please. What kind of joke? Look, let's go outside. I'm not going anywhere, eh? She's trying to steal from me. I'm not going to have that. I'm not going to have it, eh? What's wrong with this woman? I didn't hear from you, please. Let's just go out and talk embarrassing me. Hey, she's trying to steal my man. Those are my my man. You are what? What did the woman do to you? What, what's going on? Mom, she's my friend. Eh? Friend. friend? I'm not her friend though. It's still a lie. Eh? See, your precious daughter here could not find herself a boyfriend. Now she paid my boyfriend to act as a man. Can you imagine that? Eh, madam? Can you imagine that? Mom, no, no, no. We're friends. Yeah. We're not friends. I don't see you. No, no, no. I'm still divorced. We're all friends. I'm, a, I'm not her friend. I'm not her friend at all. I'm not her friend though. She's telling my man. What? What's up? I shot up a lot. My sister, right? Oh, no, 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 no Apologize to them. There's no need to explain anything. You have done enough. Get your things and leave my house. I'll forward your balance to you. All right, guys. So let's talk about this one. I was silly. Now, this really has to do with something that every parent is kind of hoping for, for their kid. And that's for them to get married. With these days, there's a lot of people that have like, uh, there's like all these goals and aspirations. Uh, you want to be this, you want to achieve this, you want to attain that level of success in one field or another, you know, and that's all good and dandy. But I don't get it though. Like, why is it that anytime your parents start asking for, you know, for you to bring back who you're dating, the first thing that comes to mind is going to rent a boyfriend. But I don't understand. Like, is it that getting married is not something that's in your plan or is it just that you have not come across the right person? Most of the time when somebody is busy pursuing a career, yes, you tend to lose focus on many other things. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we are all multi-talented. We're able to multitask in many things. When you later on find that partner and get married, you're still going to keep your job. So you, you got to be able to make room for both things. You know, with guys, yeah, they start it, but then once they're ready to marry, they go and bring in a wife. But when you see women that are pursuing career, it, it somehow turns into like a do or die and sometimes they forget that the other side of life is not waiting for anybody you know i always encourage ladies you know when you're pursuing your career make some time you know for that relationship in your life um, because <laughs> This career thing is a never-ending pursuit. Whether you are 20, you are 30, you are 40, you are still going to be pursuing the next level. You are never going to get to any point and then that's it. Especially when you are working for somebody. So you are, you know, you are trying to make supervisor. Before you know it, you are trying to make the manager. Then you are trying to make the you know, senior manager, the director, the, the, you know, you're pursuing the next level. There's always going to be a next level to pursue. And, you know, the company is never going to be yours. So the pursuit, of course, is going to have limitations. So while you are pursuing this thing, while you're pursuing your professional life, it's always a good idea to make time, make room for your personal life. You know, because at a point in your life, you're going to get to this age where you are no longer marketable. And I don't mean this in a bad way, because I know people are going to look at it and be like, what do you mean? You know, one thing is for sure, if you're educated, you'll understand this, that, you know, the woman's clock is, is continuously running. When you hit 35, you know, in all medical terms, your egg count your egg quality starts going down by the time you hit 40 <laughs> you 
you know, is like the change that's remaining. So it's no longer the same. Doesn't mean you are still not going to have healthy babies, but you know, the risk and the probability is start increasing at that point. Why do you want to wait till that time? Let me take it back. When you are 20, it's easy for you to meet somebody that's 25. And maybe you guys would, you know, start a relationship, form a partnership, you know. When you are 30, it's easier to meet somebody that's maybe 40 or 45. And, you know, with them, they are okay with um, you being 30, you know, them 45, you know. But by the time you hit 40, there's nobody that's 45 that's going to want to be in that relationship. 50, most likely not. So when you're 40, you're looking at people that are maybe 55, 60, 65 even, you know. So do you get the point now? You are no longer, you know, meeting somebody that's not that the person has any, you know, you know, manly issues. They are still a man. They are probably still looking good. But, you know, you are pushing the clock, you know. And at that point, somebody that's 60 probably might not even be interested in having children, you know, uh, so here you are now at 40, no child, you know, yeah, you might be in a happy relationship, but at the end of the day, you know, your clock is running out. So, you know, ladies, try to make time for your personal lives because unlike men, you know, you guys have a clock that's running, you know, and you, you everybody knows this. It's not even something that we need to talk about. But the problem is that it keeps happening. You still keep seeing ladies that keep pushing away, um, you know, getting into a relationship because they want to focus on their career. And, uh, you know, once the parents start pushing or, you know, insisting, they start hiring somebody. You have seen how this one ended, didn't end well, you know, but new people are still going to be hiring new other guys, you know, to come and act as their boyfriend or as their, you know, serious partner while trying to deceive the parents. That's it for this one, guys. Uh, if you love this kind of content, please like, share, follow, subscribe. This is CJ from Magnetic Studios and I'm here to 